So last episode, I finally finished my house, which is great. Because now I have kind of like a base of operations. So it looks nice, but I've put a lot of time in this world so far. So I don't want to die. So I got to thinking, what would make me immortal in Minecraft? And I thought, you know, I could literally become a god in Minecraft. Like a literal god. Like I would be unkillable. And what would help me in doing that? Totems. And if you get it and you die with it, as most of you probably know, you don't actually die. You get a second chance. And that's really critical, especially for some of the builds I have coming up. And I haven't even really went to the nether yet. So this episode, my goal is going to become a god. So I think that's what I'm going to focus on this entire time. And hopefully everything will lead us to that in the end. All right, so here's the materials I need. This is a farm by Kelp MC. Oh, it looks like I got to go to the nether anyways. Hmm. This is definitely not the best spawn, but I guess I can't complain. 41 should be enough. Oh, we're in a crimson biome. I was really hoping for a soul sand valley. Oh, and there's a bastion over there. Pretty sure that's a bastion, right? Am I, am I seeing that right? The black, black stone? Hopefully I don't die already. That'd be a pretty bad way to end the, end the hardcore series so soon. Uh, these guys are not happy. Don't they like throw you when they hit you too? Like won't I end up in like the pool of lava? Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Don't these purple mushrooms scare them away? Yeah, that's right. Keep away from me. I got a purple, or er, I'm sorry, <laughs> blue mushroom. I like how there's just this nice peaceful music playing in the background. The trees creaking as I'm like trying not to die. I have never held the shift key harder in my life. Okay, dude. This place is deadly, man. Okay, there's already a brute. I'm pretty sure they're brutes, right? The axe guys? Hopefully these crossbow guys don't knock me off of here. That'd be pretty, pretty sad. Okay, yep, crossbow guy. What can I do now? Okay, here's the crossbow guys. Let's see if I can't open this one up without... This guy can't hit me from here, can he? I'm just gonna put that there just in case. Oh, look. Ancient debris. Why do they look like that? That's so weird. What? That blends in with the netherrack so much. If I go mining for ancient debris, I'm definitely gonna have to change my texture pack because I, I would miss so many ancient debris if they blended in this much. Now, brutes don't get distracted by gold, right? Brutes are taking all the damage for him. Yeah, I'll take the obsidian. All right. <laughs> that is finally done. Holy cow. Is that soul sand? Soul sand valley. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm like holding my breath a lot. This is actually a... Uh, you know, I'm not trying to... Uh, I don't like the new Minecraft noises. Oh, there's another chest. I'll get that one too. I didn't even know that was there. There's a brute, so he'll kill me. All these guys will be mad once I open that chest. So if I somehow kill the brute without upsetting them, but when I hit another pig, don't they get upset? Okay, the brute hasn't seen me yet, so maybe I can... Okay. I didn't stare at that guy, did I? Okay. <laughs> He'll teleport up here and knock me off, and th then I really will be dead. So if I shoot this guy, don't they get all sorts of mad? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not doing that. I want both chests, and I want the soul sand and the nether warts, the big thing. Is the soul sand worth it? Because I just need it for my farm real quick, my raid farm. Oh, did the, did the brute just fall in the lava? Huh, <laughs> that idiot. Okay, this is going to be easier than I thought. These guys aren't mad at me, right? No, why would you be mad at me? Okay, okay, there's lava there. I need eight, nine, ten pieces. All right, I think that's enough. Let me drop down here and grab this. Can I just, like, block everything off and then, like, open that chest and then, like, hurry up and run over here? You know, like, open that chest. <laughs> hurry up, sprint in here, and then open this one. I feel so weird being in a bastion. Maybe I could just break this chest. 
go in here. Let me open this one. I'll take the obsidian chain, arrows, this, this. Okay! I would say this thing is, uh, successfully, uh... Oh, I still need a thing of lava. This is lovely. No! And... Oh, oh. So yeah, I'm gonna get all this stuff together, and I'll come back to you guys after a little quick resource gathering. So I still need about 900 cobblestone, so I guess the old side of the hill will do. And I need two hoppers, but I have no iron. I'm gonna have to build an iron farm sometime too, because with the new update, iron, I think, is a lot harder to find than it used to be. So I'm gonna hope my good old villagers over here have spawned in another iron golem to protect them, and then I'm gonna murder that iron golem. The villagers have let me down once again. My pink sheep better still be here. I have big plans for him in the future. Ah, uh, hello, sheep. He's going to be a staple centerpiece of my base. Well, it looks like I gotta go do it the old-fashioned way and, uh, try to mine. Actually, I think there's a cave down here that I covered up, isn't there? This is the place I almost fell into last episode. I covered it up so I wouldn't have to defy death again. <laughs> Me and him are on bad terms. I'll go down here and try to get some. And look at that. A strength spider and a mine shaft. Am I not just the luckiest man alive? I am not dealing with any of that right now. Not one bit. I'm, I'm gonna stay in my little hole and mine my iron. This has actually been a very fortunate turn of events. Um, I was not expecting to find diamonds. I literally only wanted iron, but you know, I did make a diamond hose, so I guess I do kind of need them. So I'll just uh, link these perhaps. Six, that's actually really good. Well, I think I got enough iron for now to last me. So time to go become a god. Now that we got all our extra supplies, I think we're ready to go ahead and... Watch this. <laughs> stupid spiders. Oh, almost stupid me. There's just so many random holes all over my world. Like, imagine if I just fell down in that. And then the spiders came in after me. That wouldn't be good. So, for my next step, I need to find an ocean, and find a pillager outpost pretty reasonably close. So I think that's everything. I'm gonna throw everything in my inventory, double check that I have it. I'm gonna head out and search, ride the vines down. Uh, let me just double check and make sure I have everything. All right, let's go find an ocean near a pillager outpost. So I've had pretty good luck going this way, because there's a village. There's a village, they're pretty much in a line. So I guess I'm just gonna, I don't know, maybe run this way and hope for the best.
Oh my gosh. Look at this cave. Look how massive this thing is. It goes all the way down to Deep Slate? I don't want to fall off in this thing. It goes all the way down to Deep Slate. Is this under a mountain biome? No, it's not under a mountain biome. Well, this is really cool. I might have to... Might have to do something with this one day. Make sure I remember. Well, back to searching... Well, after finding two very cute turtles and force-feeding them seaweed so that way they would, uh, lay me some eggs, I happened to stumble across what I was looking for to begin with. Finally, a pillager outpost. I guess I'm going to, uh, raid this place and then try to find an ocean and I'll get back with y'all. And would you look at that, there's an ocean literally right beside it. Now the only issue would be uh, getting a villager over here. But the road to becoming a mortal is not easy, so I can understand that. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna go out in the middle of the ocean and uh, start my building. Use mouse cursor or tab button to select element. Left click use mouse cur- Use mouse cursor or tab button. Use mouse cursor or- Well, now that I got my structure done, I was coming back over to my pillager outpost. And I was like, well, I need a villager to finish my build, right? So I'm like, oh, well, I'll look in the plains biome right beside it. And lo and behold, a village right next to the pillager outpost, right next to my totem farm. You know, don't you just love it when everything lines up? It's like this world wants me to become immortal. Like, I don't know about you, but it seems like it. So now I'm gonna try to get this villager all the way over to the farm, which it looks like it's, mm, it's not downhill. I was gonna say, cause I could put him in a boat and wheel him over there. And then I'm gonna come back, try to get Bad Omen 3 or Bad Omen 1 and then test it out. And hopefully everything works according to plan. So I'm gonna try to somehow wrangle a villager up. Well, actually, I can take the villager through this stream, I think, all the way over there. Oh, crap. Alright, with our villager buddy in place, I guess uh, I've double checked. Um, the only thing we have left to do now is I guess go get Bad Omen and hopefully not die. 
That was so close. I finally got my raid captain. I was trying to wait around for another one, but it does not look like one's gonna spawn to try to start off with a bad omen too. But after I run the farm for a minute, I should be at bad omen five anyways, if uh, it's correct. Yeah, I'm just gonna head out of here. I'm almost out of steak anyways. I should, oh, I was gonna stop by the village and get some bread, but I don't know if that'd be such a good idea right now. Maybe I should just beeline it straight back. And let's go get this raid started and hopefully they don't spawn anywhere they're not supposed to and I'm hoping they don't spawn. I have a feeling they're gonna spawn over here for some reason. I don't know, maybe I should just slab this just to be safe. Oh, this is nerve wracking. I do not like dealing with raids and or vexes. All right, it's loading in. I should get up there in time. All right, raids loading in. Okay. Everything's going good so far. It's not said raid victory yet. This did not go as planned. I think a Vex just almost one-shot me as well. I am so confused as to why that's happening. I'm gonna go back up even though it's against my better judgment. I don't know why. Are these boats even helping? Or are they just like hurting me? Maybe I need to replace them? Because I kind of nosed them into the tunnel maybe. It kind of like caught some of the baddies. I would not mark Narrator. Them. Narrates all. Narrator. Off. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Because that means I need to go get the bad omen effect again. Hey, it wasn't a complete loss, though. I got two totems. I'm actually going to put one of these in my hand, so I feel a little safer now. I'm hoping they're all definitely dead now. I'm going to go back and get the bad totem again. Let's try this again. Okay. Ravengers. Raid victory. Step on the plate. Nope, 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 nope. The boats keep messing it up, and I don't know why. I'm just... I'm guessing they're getting stuck in that boat, too. Because they're suffocating in the block. Alright, now let's get all these blocks out of here. Let's try to start another raid. This time, hopefully, nobody gets stuck in any boats. Wait for the raid doll spawn in, all the waves, all the horns should sound at once. Okay, good so far.
that went all right. I didn't know Vexes like took damage when they despawned. All right, now let's see if this works again. <laughs> Second time's the charm. Bad Omen four, and that worked out flawlessly. How many totems did I get from that? One, two, I think. That's what I'm talking about. This is what a raid farm's supposed to be like. Let me just throw another one down on my hotbar just in case. Now that I got a way bigger Bad Omen, let's test it out. See, I noticed the only issue is, is if one raider falls down here, it counts that raider that you need to kill before it'll say raid victory. See, like this guy will say there's one ra raider remaining. And then I kill him and the raid's over. As long as it's working, I don't really mind. I'm just going to keep doing this until I got enough uh, totems to kind of last me for a good while. The levels don't hurt either since I do need to start making kind of some enchants and stuff. Six. Six totems just from that one raid. All in all, I would say the raid farm turned out pretty good. Now I need to build some place to uh, keep all of my totems. That way I have easy access to them anytime I need them. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need them a lot. A lot. So let's get to work on that. So I think I'm going to build a statue. And then I'll have a bunch of chests behind it that I can keep the totems in. I think that'd be kind of cool. Add a little pixel art, maybe like up on this hill here. that finished the only thing we really need to do is get some uh emeralds from the raid farm so i might actually go look for a village now and after three thousand blocks of travel i found a coral reef a village and finally a desert to get my green dye just for the eyes of my villager i did or my totem i did not think that would be the hardest part oh and i found a lush cave i did not think this would be the hardest part but thank gosh we found one so I'm thinking chest with totems, two double chests right here with a little path leading all the way back over here, connecting to my base. So let's get to work. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love my friend Paradise's video, where he tries to recreate plants vs zombies in 48 hours.